Hey, welcome to this episode of Courageous Living. I'm your host, Kiki Ramsey, and on this show, I aim to help you get courageous and live courageous in everything you do. Well, this show is going to be so awesome. Today, we're going to be talking about the power of intention. Intention is one of those things that you don't hear a lot about, but it's something that we should all be talking about because the truth is we all should be setting major intentions for our lives. So don't go anywhere. Right after this, we're going to be talking about the power of intention in your life. about the power of intention in your life now the thing about intention is that a lot of times it doesn't come to the forefront of our mind I mean most of us just wake up every day and we go about our days we take the same route to work or to our company or to our business or to our appointments we don't deviate from the direction that we go. We do the same things when we get there. We get off, we come home, we do the same things when we come home. And it's just like we're kind of living our life on autopilot. And we don't really think about what is our intention for the day. And I used to be the very same way. You know, when I started my company, Kiki Ramsey International, I thought it was going to be real easy. I get up, I do a whole bunch of work in the daytime, and I get a lot accomplished. And at the end of the day, I would be able to crown myself successful. <laughs> That's exactly how I thought it was going to go, but really it didn't go like that. Normally, I would get up in the morning because I knew that getting up early enough and praying or meditating was something that would start my day off right. So I would get up and I would do that. And then I would go to the gym. I know that exercise is something that is important for our body. So I would go to the gym around 930. And what happened was I ended up staying at the gym longer than I should have. I would work out, I would do a class, I would lift weights, I would do yoga, I would run, I would sometimes get in the spa or the sauna or the steam room, and before you know it, I would leave the gym at 11.30 or 12 in the afternoon. I mean, what? My, most of my day was gone when I did that. So I would get up early, but I would leave the gym after I worked out about 11.30, 12 in the afternoon. So now I go home, and I'm hungry, so I need to get something to eat. And once I eat, you know what happens. We kind of get sleepy sometimes. And so I would get a little sleepy. And then I'm like, okay, well, guess what? I need to take a nap. <laughs> because sometimes when you're working from home, that bed is very convenient. And I just wanted to lay down and take a nap. And some days I did lay down and take a nap. And guess what? I would wake up a couple hours early, or a couple hours later, and I still had not done any work I mean wow and so then I wake up and I'm frantic because I haven't done any work and then I look at my little list and I say okay I have to get something done before the day is over with and I do something minor just to say I did something on my list and then the day is over with because after that I gotta either cook dinner or get ready for something else at uh, later on in the night so that was how my day went and it went that way a lot because I didn't set an intention for myself. I didn't have my goals. I didn't know what my day was even going to look like. And I know that a lot of us have very busy schedules. We have very busy careers and businesses, but I'll tell you what, if you do not learn how to set intention for your life, then even that business, you won't reach your goals. And that's what happened to me for a very long time before I learned how to set an intention for my life and for my day. And so what is an intention? It's really a plan. It's a goal. 
It's, a, it's an objective. It's an aim. It's somewhere where you're trying to go to, where you're trying to get to in your life. And I believe there are just a couple key things that you need to do in order to be able to set amazing intentions for your life. And so number one thing that you need to do when you are trying to set an intention is that you need to wake up every single morning, every single morning and set your intention. What is it that you want to do for that day? You got to really be mindful about what that is. I believe all those years ago when I never set intentions for my life, that if I did set those intentions every day, I wouldn't have number one spent that much time in the gym. I love working out, but you can I can still get done uh, what I needed to get done with working out less with less time. And so I believe that I would have been way more successful during that time in my life had I set intentions for my day. So what I want you to do is I want you to wake up in the morning and set your intention. I think that writing it down will be good, but even if you don't write it down, have it in your mind. Know what it is that you are going to do on that day so that you can actually get it done. Number two, I want you to set at least one major goal for the day. Okay, listen, <laughs> you've heard me say it time and time again. I love checking stuff off my list. I will write a list pretty much at the end of the week, what I need to do for the rest of the week, the next week, and when I go about my week, I love checking things off. But here's the thing. I want you to choose one major goal for the day. I'm not saying that that's the only thing that you do for that day. I'm talking about prioritize prioritize your goals with one major goal that you need to get done for that day because here's the thing we learn and we want to be and do what's easy so a lot of times we start with what's easy on our list and we work our way up but what I'm saying to you is if you set one major goal you start with that goal and if you get that if you only get that goal done you've been successful you are a success for that day because you set out to do that one goal. And that goal needs to be what's most important to you in your life for that day. That's what you need to set. Set one major goal. When I started to do that, I started to see more results happen in my life. I started to see that I was getting closer and closer to reaching my goals of being successful or writing my book or, you know, speaking engagements. I learned to set that one major goal every single day every single day and lastly I want to say you have to let go of limiting beliefs in your life um, a lot of things can happen and of course a lot of things can go wrong but when you start to think negatively about your life and what can go wrong and what can go wrong in your daytime and you start making all kind of excuses as to why you can't get things done that is a limiting belief and when you start making those excuses and thinking about those excuses in your life you start to go downhill things start to fall apart and go downhill and at the end of the day or the end of the week you feel really bad about your accomplishments but you actually limited you limited yourself in your thinking from the very beginning and so I have to learn how to stop saying negative things, to stop making all kind of excuses for why I didn't get things done during my day. And I had to really truly get serious and get real about what it is I wanted to do in my day and in my life and in my week. I had to get serious and so do you. So I really want you to know that if you do this, the power of intention can absolutely change your life. It can change the trajectory of your path and the way that you are supposed to go. <laughs> so listen, practice these three things. Practice these three things. Number one, set an intention every single morning. Number two, make one major goal. And number three, truly, truly stop limiting your beliefs. All right, so I hope these help you this week. Listen, what I want you to do is I want you to every single day this week, starting with tomorrow, 
to wake up and set your intention for today. And when you set that intention, I want you to let me know over at KikiRamsey.com on our blog what your intention for today is. And I want to know your thoughts on how intention can actually change your life. Until next time, I want you to live courageous.